Punta Allen, a secluded fishing village that rests at the end of the road in the Yucatan's Sian Can Biosphere Reserve. This small community, the gateway to the world-famous Ascension Bay, is a world away from the crowded resorts and bustling bars of Cancun and Playa del Carmen, the popular tourist meccas only two hours to the north. Punta Allen is surrounded by the Barrier Reef, interlocking inland lagoons, pristine flats, and the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean. The village can only be accessed by boat or by driving the slow pothole dirt road from Tulum. While isolation, location, and challenging access have for years incubated and protected this family-focused settlement from the explosive tourism growth that has defined the Yucatan Peninsula over the past several decades, these same factors have also created unique challenges for the people of Punta Alim, where Mayan family values run as deep as the sea. It is the hard-working fishing guides and area lodges that drive the local economy. Their pride in their profession and their intimate knowledge of the fishery makes them some of the finest flat fishing guides found anywhere in the world. With the growth and success of fly fishing in the Ascension Bay area, the population of Punta Allen has continued to increase, testing and challenging the infrastructure of the town. This has been especially relevant with the underfunded local school system, as they have experienced record enrollment. The community is so small and tight-knit that we've actually seen the changes. We've seen the bathrooms, we've seen the roof, we've seen the special need children, what they were getting, you know, the, the wheelchairs and the braille machines. And the community is happier. We show up now, and yes, we're, we're here to fish, but we're also here to give back a little bit to the community. Absolutely. And it's just so great. And it's been great. I'd love, I'm going to come back here every year. Yes, yes. This Punta Allen fly fishing charitable event was founded in 2015 by the local lodges to raise funds for the schools. Originally, a permit only tournament, in 2018, the organizers shifted the format to a super slam scoring system, which attracts a broader audience by allowing anglers to pursue multiple species instead of focusing solely on permit. Punta Allen is the type of small community where family always comes first. And when the children of the village are safe, happy and supported, their parents and the community flourish. This tournament and the larger economic driver of fly fishing provides reliable and steady economic opportunities for the people of Punta Allen, whereby supporting the schools and the children of the village. Level, point to right, 11 o'clock, little right, little right, five feet more right, okay, cast, cast, drop it, drop it, trip, trip, stop, stop, trip, cast again, five feet more to the left, cast, good, good, perfect cast, trip it, trip it, trip it, one long strip, trip, trip, set the hook, set the hook. The Sian Can Biosphere is a protected marine park. All anglers must fish with artificial flies or lures only, and all game fish must be released. Decades of productive management and regulations have made this one of the most productive fisheries in the world to pursue the super slam, consisting of a snook, tarpon, permit, and bonefish, all in the course of a single day of fishing. Hello, I'm Neville Woodman from Thomas & Thomas. Um, the first time I uh, came to visit uh, Punta Allen, we came down, I brought down my twin girls. Um, at that time, they were two years old. Um, decided to, you know, visit the classrooms and I had to take my kids to the bathroom. Got to the bathrooms and there were no running water and uh, no doors to the bathroom. And uh, we asked the teachers, so how do these kids go to the bathroom while they're in school and um, she said you know a lot of the kids um, you know they have an accident which is so embarrassing for you know four six-year-old 
and uh, we decided that we can make a difference. Over the past five years, the tournament has raised over $55,000 from the participation, support and generosity of the participating anglers and industry sponsors. These funds have all gone to school-related projects, including renovation and additions of student bathrooms, the addition of ceiling fans to the new classrooms, construction of a new lunch palapa and eating area, the restoration of classrooms, materials, and support for special needs students, and the future construction of teacher housing. The Punta Allen schools have developed an added curriculum that includes lessons on conservation, creating a foundation that will allow all students to become stewards of the Sian Khan biosphere for the future. Their family's income and the health of the community is directly connected to the preservation of the surrounding marine ecosystems. And through the protection of the flats, the barrier reef and the surrounding mangrove lagoon systems, the fishy species of Ascension Bay will flourish for years to come. As the children are released from school, it is a short walk through the welcoming community to the town center, where kids play in the sea, fish from the dock, or head to the local soccer field, another community project that was donated and facilitated by longtime Punta Allen angler and part-time resident Bill Hoffman. As with the village school, numerous fly fishing businesses and supporters have donated over the years to maintain and improve the field. The social epicenters of Punta Allen are the town's dock and the main square Palapa. The residents' homes, two schools, numerous fishing lodges, and a handful of small restaurants and retail stores all radiate out from the town center, home to a massive and iconic permit sculpture that proudly identifies Punta Allen as the permit capital of the world. Visiting anglers, regularly visit the unique sculpture for group photos with their guides, fellow anglers and local families. Those who visit Punta Ale can't help but feel a strong sense of community 
and appreciation for the community and for the places that fly fishing takes us. The personal relationships developed when visiting Punta Allen often eclipse the excitement of fly fishing the flats of Ascension Bay. There's some future projects that, that we uh, are looking to support here. Um, you know, there are two that I think are, are, are critical. Um, the first is building a new residence or refining the residence for the teachers that come here. Um, so enabling teachers to come here, stay comfortably, live respectively is huge. You, you want to attract the talent because you want the kids to have the benefit and have the best talent that they can have to teach them. Uh, the journey here is not an easy one. You want to give them the ability to stay here and stay comfortably. So that's 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 certainly one. Um, the, the second future project is, is a, a braille reader, a, a reader for Estrella that allows her to scan books um, and participate in the class. And that's hugely important. Without that kind of equipment, uh, her options are very limited. And they basically amount to the fact that she would have to leave Punta Allen. Um, we don't want people to leave Punta Allen. We want people to have a reason to live here. We want the families that are here to stay. So anything that we can do that allows them to continue to, to, to grow this community, to continue the traditions in this community is hugely important. Um, and, and we're thrilled to support and, and really get behind both of those initiatives. At the conclusion of another successful tournament and community fundraiser, anglers gather on the final night for a farewell fiesta, auction, and awards ceremony. While the anglers and guides are competitive throughout the tournament, this gathering is all about camaraderie, new friendships, and the ability to make a difference for the Punta Allen community. This participation and connection resonates deeply for all who attend, which demonstrates how the event is less about fishing and all about giving back to the people who have been hosting and taking care of anglers for decades. The next time you find yourself in the sleepy fishing village of Punta Allen, be sure to visit the schools, kick a ball on the soccer field, and shoot a photo in front of the giant statue in the middle of town. After all, you're in the permit capital of the world.